Hi, I'm Darren from Australian Clutch, and uh, today we're going to talk about the new uh, flow grinders to Australian Clutch services. Uh, we introduced them as uh, Clutch Tech. Uh, we have the basic model on display here, which is a lower cut guard, uh, and we have the other version, which we have available, of course, uh, with the a large perspex guard, which has a micro switch, so when you open the door, the flow grinder physically stops. Uh, with this type of machine, the lower cut guard, it still has a micro switch on the side, so it will only operate with the, uh, the guard in place. So obviously from a safety point of view, um, we don't want to have grinders operating without those uh, key features in place. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll get into some flower grinding. Uh, so to, to get flower grinding, we've got to understand what some of the control buttons are. So this one here is to, uh, to turn the, the wheel on and obviously engage the wheel, obviously to stop it. We've got the, uh, the table rotation. It also has a speed variant as well, so we can in, make it go quicker or slower, depends on what type of flower grind you, you want. And then of course we've got the, uh, the coolant on, and then just the coolant off as well. And then we've got the speed up and down on the head. Okay, and then we have the uh, up and down wheel, which is a manual feed. It moves up and down in 0.01 mil increments. Uh, it is clutch driven, so you need to actually engage the, the drive before you allow the, the head to go up and down. Uh, and then obviously once the flow stop, stops grinding, you just disengage the drive and it'll stop the wheel from uh, the head from moving up and down if necessary. Okay, with any flow or grind, obviously safety is important, so we always use our, uh, our safety glasses. We get all these components supplied with the, the flow or grinder. Uh, they are for locating the flywheel and spaces to keep it up off, off the, uh, the table itself, so allow the coolant to flow through. So the first thing we need to do is identify what, what collars we need. In this case, it's got a small flywheel hole, so we'll probably use the, the, the locating lock being the smaller version, uh, and then turning it over. Just probably need something to mount, mount on the crank face, which uh, looks good on that one. So we'll use that one. Okay, we get a draw bolt supplied with the machine itself. Just screws into the center of the, uh, the machine. So we'll just put that in place. If necessary, you need to tighten it up slightly with you can use an Allen key. We'll grab our, uh, our, our flywheel spacer. They're cut out both sides to allow coolant to flow through on, on, uh, on both sides itself. So you want to get a rough idea of having that in center. We want to drop the flow in place. Seems to be pretty, pretty well located. Drop the little locating spacer on top. This little bolt, which a little nut that uh, that secures the flow tight. Now we're quite fortunate we don't need to uh, to get the dial indicator on to, to measure the uh, the run out for the step because it's flat flow of course. So we can just pop it straight on there. Uh, we have a uh, a tool to, to lock the flow up. You don't want to over tighten it, you just want to make sure it's nicely uh, nipped just to make sure it doesn't spin when you're, uh, you're grinding the flow itself. Okay, then we pop the guard back on. Okay, so you just drop the head, head of the grinder across. You know, you want the wheel obviously in the center position of the flywheel. We lock, we lock it in place. Okay, so we can move the head down to the to workpiece or the flywheel in this case. Uh, bearing in mind that the clutch needs to be disengaged in the, in the manual feature. Uh, otherwise it won't go up and down. So you bring the, the head down close as you can to the, to the flywheel itself. Now we can turn the grinder head on and also the, the, uh, the, the base on as well. Just want to bring the, the flywheel head or the grinding head down to the flywheel itself. Okay, so it's just touching. Now we can get our coolant pump on.
Okay, once the fly wall is completed, there is a fair bit of swarf that gets in the bottom of the, uh, the coolant sump here, or the, the tray where the coolant lies. Uh, you get this little hose with the machine. Obviously the coolant pump needs to be on, and what I would recommend is you just hose all the machine down. It'll obviously keep it in a better condition, um, and you'll just hose all that swarf into the bottom of the, the sump of the, uh, the coolant trough, and uh, you'll just clean it out periodically. Uh, or when required. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, that'll just keep your machine in a really good condition. Okay, naturally, flow was completed. Move the head rod out of the way. Obviously, preserve your wheel, so make sure there's no, you can't get any damage on it. We'll take the guard off. As you can see, I've cleaned the flow machine. It's, it's not too bad, probably could do with a little bit extra. Um, and then we'll just gotta get that flow, flow off itself. So just unlock it. And there we have the flow completed. Okay, so with the Clutch Tech machine, you'll get a, a series of components. Um, to obviously start your basic grind. So you'll get some spacers which go on the crankshaft itself. So they've got a slot both sides to allow the coolant and the, uh, the swarf to flow through. You'll get uh, different selection lengths of, of draw bolts. Obviously you can see the variation in lengths. Uh, you'll get, some, uh, you'll get a, a, a locking uh, plate for the, or a locking key for the uh, electrical system itself. So obviously your, uh, your electrician will need that when they uh, plumb the machine in. Uh, the spacers, or well, the locking spaces which sit on top of the flow will actually locate the flow and hold it in place while grinding. It also has a little nut here that sits in this uh, in this little spacer itself to actually secure the flow to the work, to the uh, to the flow grinder itself. Uh, you'll have the uh, the spanner supplied for the for the locking nut. Uh, you'll also have dial indicator which will mount on the machine uh, to actually dial in your your flow wheel. So make sure it's perfect. So if you've got the machine flow all steps, you're obviously not gonna uh, have any issues there. You'll also get uh, something to lock the grinding wheels in place and obviously unlock. You'll use uh, the little uh, draw bolt from, the, um, from the, uh, the, the spanner itself to, uh, to tighten them and, and loosen them. Uh, also with the, uh, the machine, you'll get a starter kit of both your coolant and your oil. Uh, obviously that's critical when you're obviously starting off and uh, you'll have also something to put the machine in place with. So it's all pretty, it's, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty good starter pack for anyone who's doing your, uh, your, your conventional flowers. Okay, so as I've mentioned before, the flow machine does come uh, with a starter kit, uh, but we do also offer some additional components. So we have the, uh, the, radi the radius cutter, so if you want to undercut uh, commercial flow wheels or you've got a, a specific area you want to actually make a, a certain size you can certainly use that radius cutter we have uh, steel wheels uh, grinding wheels available we also have uh, cast iron grinding wheels available and we also have the small hole flow wheel adapter okay so thanks for watching if you do have any inquiries regarding the flow machines by all means contact the australian clutch team and they'll be able to assist you in the right way. Alternatively, you can contact uh, one of your nearest uh, Australian Clutch Service distributor.